Hi guys, what's going on? And what we are reading today is Humphrey's School Fair Surprise. If you have a copy, of, a copy, go ahead and read along with me. Because we're going to start in now. Contents. Chapter 1 is su Surprising News. Chapter 2 Busy, Busy, Busy. 3 It's Not Fair. 4 My Big Surprise. 5 I Surprise Myself. Ooh, that sounds cool. I'm gonna read now. Chapter 1 Surprising News. I've learned a lot about school in the short time I've lived in one. As a classroom hamster, I get to see and hear everything that goes on in room 26. One thing I've learned is that it's important to listen to our teacher, Mrs. Brisbane. She's a super smart, she's a good teacher too. I've also learned that it's important to listen for Mr. Morrill's, the principal. Mr. Morrill's is the most important person at Longfellow School. One Monday, when he came into our classroom, he said something very, very, very important. It was also quite surprising. As you know, class, the Longfellow School Fair is coming up on Saturday, he said. The friends got very excited. Will there be cotton candy? Heidi Hopper asked. She forgot to raise her hand. I think of her as Rosie. I mean, raise your hand, Hetty. Because Miss Brisbane always has to remind her to do it. Mr. Morrill smiled. I think so, he said. AJ remembered to raise his hand. And Mr. Morrill called on him. Well, there be cupcakes, AJ asked. AJ's voice was very loud, so I call him Rose your voice, AJ. Mr. Morrill said there would, uh, would be cupcakes. And there would also be games and crafts and things that sound like hamster, hamster, ethic fun. Yippee! I shouted. Of course! Oh, that my friends heard was a very loud squeak. Dear, we're adding some new, Mr. Moyles told us, and everyone will be part of it. Are you listening, Og? I squeaked to my neighbor. Og is a frog. He lives in a tank right next to my cage. A long table by the window. Since I can't see his ears, I'm never sure if he's listening or not. Boing boing, he answered. He was boing boing. I guess he really was listening. During the fair, each class will march around the playing field. Mr. Molson. Boom! My classmate said. You'll make signs that will show what makes room 26 special, Mr. Moles explained. There will be a prize given for the best class sprint. Spin, spin it. Spirit. Ooh, my classmate said again. Do you think room 26 will win the prize for this first sprint? Asked the class. Everyone shouted, yes! Quite me. I'll splash around in the, in the water side of the tank. See that now there are pictures. It says, After Mr. Morrill's left, I was so happy I hopped on the wheel for a fast spin. I should have listened to the teacher, but I couldn't stop thinking about the school fair. Aunt and I were during Says, there sounds great, doesn't it? I asked. Boing boing, I guess. Cupcakes sound yummy and games are fun, I squeaked. Boing boing, Og said. I just have one question, Og. What is a school fair? I asked. Og dived into the water and swam 
away from my cage. I guess he didn't know what a school fair was either. Now, come on. But I wasn't worried. I didn't find out very, very soon. My friends were all talking when they came back from the classroom. I heard them say some very odd things. Being bad, as Scott said. Gil giggled and shut it. Sponge. That's a very weird game. I'm not sure about that game, but we'll see you on. My friends. Gil loved to giggle, but I had to. But I never heard her laugh about sponges before. Say, who hardly even spoke mountain said face painting. Plus, we have work to do, Mrs. Wispin, so we need to think about our signs. What do you think? Our class special. Lots of hands went up. We learned a lot of important things in World Time 6, Mandy said. I agree with that. I'd even learn to read and write in World Time 6, which is unusual for a hamster. We've got the best teacher, Richie said. That made Mrs. Brisbane smile. Other classes have a lot, a lot, have a lot of nice teachers. We can learn a lot, she said. Is there anything that sets this class apart from the others? Miranda Golden raised her hand. What do you think of her golden Miranda because of her golden hair? We have the nicest students, she said with a smile. She was right, right, right. I was lucky to be in the classroom with such humans. Guess Humphrey is the luckiest hamster, I think. Here is a different way to look at it, Mrs. Brisbane said. What do we have that no other class has? I looked around the room. There was a couple built in or with pictures of important people on it. I didn't know who they were, but I was sure they were important. I looked some more and saw books, pencils, paper, and maps. My friends got glanced around the room too. Suddenly, Hedy said, Humphrey! She forgot to raise her hand again. The music started, and odd! The class were buzzing with excitement. <laughs> Mrs. Brisbane clapped her hands in to quiet everyone down. Please, quiet please, she said. I agree. I wonder if Clans has a hamster like Humphrey and a frog. Like, odd! Should we use them on our sides? How are you gonna fit a hamster cake onto a sign? Well, we'll, we'll see. I was too surprised to squeak out, but my classmates all cheered. Even Ox said, Boing! We will start working on them tomorrow, Mrs. Brisbane said. And that's the end of chapter one. Thank you for reading, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye! And we'll next time also read chapter two. Busy, busy, busy. Bye.